Antimicrobial resistance occurs when germs like bacteria and fungi defeat the drugs designed to kill them. AMR is one of the top 10 global public health threats, causing more deaths than HIV and AIDS or malaria globally. In 2019, 4,95 million deaths were associated with drug-resistant bacterial infections, with the most significant burden in the sub-Saharan Africa region, where 1,7 million people died. The WHO net training will, among others, strengthen capacity of countries to develop national AMR surveillance protocols and using data for decision making. Preparing the national antimicrobial resistance data for local use and submission to GLASS will be acquired and strengthened. Secondly, to configure the WHO net for surveillance and data submission will be acquired and improved. AMR data remains sketchy, especially in Africa, and not available in more than 40% of the countries, posing a challenge to effectively implement AMR surveillance. This data that uh, will have to be gathered uh, is not merely numbers and statistics. Uh, it should be a vital lifeline that should guide our actions that should uh, shape our policies and ultimately safeguard the health of our populations. And by collecting data, by analyzing that data, we'll be able to gain valuable insights into the evolution of resistance patterns, enabling us as countries and institutions to respond proactively and to respond practically. Siamantikwa, NBC News. Bentuk.